Let me show you how to multi-stream to Kick, Twitch, YouTube, wherever your little heart desires using OBS Studio for free. We'll be using this OBS plugin, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. And I know it looks intimidating, like in a bunch of different languages. I was scared too, don't worry. But we're gonna scroll down to where it says assets. I'm using a Windows computer, so I'm gonna use the Windows X64 installer.exe. I'm gonna click that, it's gonna download it. And when it's done downloading it, we're gonna run the installation. Oh my God, Cody, are you making me install a virus because this pop Pops up. Honestly, I thought the same thing when I first got started, but with a lot of GitHub things like this plugin right here, you're going to want to click more info and run anyway. But once we get past that false positive scare, we're going to go and make sure that we install this to our OBS Studio plugins folder. If this doesn't work for your OBS later on the road, make sure you go back and install it to wherever your OBS plugins folder is located. So mine picked correctly and it's defaulted to here. So I'm just going to click install. Good job, computer. And then it's already completed. That was two seconds. Wow. That sounds like me and my other part of my life. Once we're done, we're going to click close. Now we can open up OBS Studio. And if you already had OBS Studio open, close it and then reopen it. Make sure that you're on the latest OBS update. Go to the help tab at the top. Go to check for updates and make sure you're on the latest update. Otherwise, you might run into issues using these plugins. If you installed it to the correct location, then good for you. You can see that we have this nice little window that we can drag and drop in the left hand side of the screen inside OBS Studio. Now, I know what you're all wondering right now, and that's where did Cody get this amazing overlay package from? Well, let me tell you, because you can get a free overlay package for yourself right now. I got it from today's sponsor, Own Pro. Own Pro is really cool because once you have it installed in your OBS, there'll be a little Own Pro tab at the top. You'll click Overlay and Alert Store, and then you'll be able to browse between hundreds of different overlays. They only have a couple free ones that you can use at the very top, so you can choose between these five. However, if you want, you can upgrade to their premium and you can scroll through hundreds of different overlay packages that you can easily switch between. But for example, we can click on this nice little pure one and you can click Install, and then you can just go and customize it to how you're little heart desires. And then if you want to switch back to the scene that you were working on, go to the top, go to scene collection, and then you can go back to whatever scene collection you had previously. So if you want to make your stream easily look more professional, then you can use the link in the description down below for own pro. Now, if you've never streamed to OBS before, you can watch the video in the top right corner and then come back to this video. But assuming that you have streamed using OBS before because you've watched my videos, then you'll know that you can go to your settings in the bottom right and then go to stream. And this will be the normal streaming service that we're going to stream to. So for example, we have our Twitch account connected right here. So I'll click OK. And if I were to hit start streaming, it would just stream to Twitch. But now with this plugin on the left hand side, we can click add new target. We're going to name our new target. Let's just call this one kick or you could do YouTube, Facebook, Trovo. I don't know what you guys stream to these days. There's so many. Next, we'll go to the service tab and then we'll go to URL. So let's head over to kick. Make sure you're logged in. Go to the top right corner and click on settings. Then we're going to go to the stream key tab. We're going to copy the stream URL with these fancy little square buttons. We're going to go back to OBS. We're going to paste this in with Control V. I know one person didn't know that shortcut and shame on you. Do better. I don't want to see you right clicking and pasting. Next, let's go back to kick and grab our stream key. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to copy this, but don't show it to anybody. So help me God, because otherwise they'll be able to stream to your account without your permission. We don't want that. So we're going to paste in our stream key. So now we'll look at the video settings down below. And basically I'm not going to touch any of this stuff because this is just going to mimic what we're already using in our OBS to stream to Twitch. So if you want to get fancy with it or stream at different kind of encoders and stuff like that to different platforms, then you can feel free to get your hands dirty here, but it's not necessary. Same with the output tab. You can go in and get your hands dirty, but we don't have to at all. Let's just keep it simple. So we have our kick name. We got our kick URL, kick stream key. Then we can click OK. Now we can see we have a new target. It says kick, start, modify, and delete. So if you wanted to stream to kick, Twitch, and YouTube at the same time, we can add a new target. We'll do this as YouTube. If you don't know how to get your URL and stream key, let's go to our YouTube channel. Once you're on YouTube, you can make sure that you get the free TubeBuddy plugin because it helps you grow your YouTube channel and it's free. So if you're streaming or making videos on YouTube, it's honestly the easiest way to start growing your YouTube channel for free. So if you don't already have it, I'll leave that link in the description down below. But if you've been watching my videos, you should probably already have it by now. So what are you doing? Once you've done that, you can click this little create button and go to the go live tab. Then you can click on either one of these. I'm going to click on right now. Then this is where you'll find the magic stream key and stream URL. So you'll copy the stream URL first, which is below this time. So click 
copy, and we'll paste that in the stream URL. Then we're gonna go to the stream key, copy that as well, and we'll post the stream key in here. Then we can click OK. Then we have Twitch as our main streaming service in OBS. Then we have Kick, and then we have YouTube. So now when we're ready to start stream, we can click the Start Streaming button, which is conveniently behind my webcam. So we're streaming to Twitch right now, and then we can click Start Stream to Kick. It's gonna start the stream, says connecting. Now it says we're streaming to Kick. Then we can click Start Streaming to YouTube. So we'll start streaming to that, and then give it a second. Now we're streaming to all three services, so let's check them out one by one on the internet. That was a really weird way to phrase that. So the first tab is our YouTube tab. We are live streaming to YouTube perfectly. Looks great. Let's go on to Kick. Now you can see that we are live streaming to Kick at the same time. So we got to check the final one, which is Twitch. And by the way, if your Kick stream's not starting, just go ahead and reset your Kick stream key and replace the stream key inside OBS. That usually fixes it. So now let's check Twitch. And now you can see we're streaming to Twitch and all the other locations at the same time. But now you're probably wondering, Cody, how the heck do I read all the chats from all the different locations? Well, let me show you real quick. Also, by the way, when you're ready to end the stream, just go and stop all of these individually and click stop and it will stop all the streams. You just got to give it about a minute. So be patient and then it'll end the stream like so. But let's get to that chat. We'll be using a free tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked down below as well. You're going to pick one of these four options to log into your Botrix account. It doesn't matter which. Once you're logged in, you'll make sure you're on the profile tab over here and you'll link all of your different profiles that you want to see the chat from. So you'll link your Twitch channel, your YouTube channel, your Kick channel, wherever the heck you want to see your chat, you'll link these channels here. Then once you've linked all the channels you want to see the chat for, we'll go to the widgets tab in the top left. Then we'll go to the chat tab, click that. And then you'll see we have Twitch, Trovo, YouTube, and Kick. So you can feel free to enable all of them if you'd like. You can customize the different chat settings here, font size, hiding commands, show the platform icons. I'd recommend leaving on so you'll know who's chatting where. And once you customize it to how you want, because this is what it's gonna look like based off of these settings, you'll copy this URL widget. So you'll copy that. Then you'll go back to OBS. Then if you wanna show it over your stream so your chatters can see it, you'll add a browser source. So add browser source. We'll just call this multi-chat and then you'll paste in that URL you just got. Hit OK. And then your multi-chat will appear over your screen. So that way your chatters can see it. But if you just want to see your chat, you'll go to the docs tab at the top. You'll go to custom browser docs and then I'll call this multi-chat and you're going to paste in that URL. Click apply and then you'll have this little doc here. I'm going to put it on the right hand side here. This looks a lot better. So then now let's go send some messages. So I'm going to send a message from Twitch. Say hi from Twitch. Let's go over to kick. I'm going to say hi from kick with YouTube. It's a little weird. You'll have to make sure that your live stream is live for about 30 seconds. You have to make sure that Botrix is modded in your chat and make sure that Botrix is modded in pretty much all of your other chats like Twitch and kick. Then you'll see a message in your YouTube chat. If you go to top chat and then live chat and you'll see that Botrix has posted a message. Then your messages from YouTube will start showing up. It's a whole pain in the butt, but it's just how it works. And right now, since I ended the live stream, we'll just pretend that I posted a message. I'm also realizing that I accidentally went live on my main YouTube channel for about a minute, making this video. So apologies if you saw that live stream. That's pretty embarrassing. And then now we can see that our messages have shown up in our OBS chat over here, as well as the chat box that goes over our stream so our viewers can see it. Now the downside to using this multi-stream method, if you have a low internet speed, that means you're probably not going to be able to handle this kind of multi-streaming. Because if we're streaming 6,000 bit rate to Twitch, then we have to stream to Kick, which means we're sending another 6,000 bit rate to Kick, and then another 6,000 YouTube. That's 18,000 bit rate that our computer and internet has to handle. So if you have a bad internet speed or your computer can't handle streaming to all these different locations at the same time, then you can watch this workaround video to the side of me because it'll only stream to one place and they'll stream your stream to multiple different locations. So give that video a watch. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.